This is San Quentin State Prison. Inmates spend 10, 20, 30 year sentences here. Some will never leave. Behind bars, murderers, thieves. And here's one that might surprise you. Aspiring entrepreneurs. My name is Jorge Heredia and I am the founder and CEO of Funky Onions. So I think just having a great idea. Welcome to The Last Mile. It's one of the most popular programs in the prison. So same question. That's Chris. Along with his wife, Bev, he started the program to do what many tech entrepreneurs do, solve a problem. In California, we spend more for prisons than for higher education. More than 60% of California prisoners released end up back behind bars within three years. One reason? They just can't find work. You know, I'm a go-getter in, in terms of uh, starting my own company, starting, you know, and having a vision. So like many others in the Bay Area, these inmates are becoming tech entrepreneurs. I'm insanely passionate about technology. That's what The Last Mile is helping them do. So I would franchise it first. The six-month program is highly competitive. Only 30 inmates are currently enrolled. They study social media, technology, and entrepreneurship. What guys talk about in this book? Behind bars, they're learning to build modern-day businesses with guest speakers like Motorola's Guy Kawasaki and core exec Mark Bodnick, and even big-name supporters like MC Hammer. To take uh, the principles of, of uh, the startup culture and say, let's, let's share that information and make it available to, to men and women who you know, deserve uh, a second opportunity, I, I just thought it was a great idea. Like any tech incubator, at the end, they pitch their product. You can subscribe to our premium service. Not just to Chris and Bev, but to venture capitalists. If we just reduce consumer waste by 20%. They talk about apps and social media in class, but many have yet to hold a smartphone. The preparation they've gone through has given them the confidence when they get outside to really be successful. If I can conquer eight years of incarceration, I think that I can definitely become an entrepreneur. They're a short drive from companies like Facebook and Twitter, but most have never used either. For many, the sites didn't even exist when they were locked away. If you had access to one of those things today, technology tool or social media, what would it be? I think that uh, I would use Twitter. For those getting out, some of who've spent decades in prison, there's hope in the ethos of the valley. I think Silicon Valley is the ideal place because this is a place where people succeed or fail and start all over again. And there's proof. That's Kenyatta Leal. Because of the last mile, he walked through the prison gates 19 years later with a job any grad would get excited for. Well, I was sentenced to 25 to life back in 1994. I mean, at 25 years old, I started entertaining thoughts of I might die in prison. What was the biggest technology? What was everyone talking about? when you uh, were incarcerated. Motorola just came out with the flip phone. But his involvement in the last mile landed him a job at Rocket Space, a co-working office for tech startups. Just this past Friday, I was blessed to turn 45 years old. And I had some good friends asking me, you know, what are you going to do for your birthday? And I had to work overtime. To be able to say that I'm going to work felt so good. We sat down with Kenyatta and two former inmates, all of them have coveted jobs in technology. Can prisoners make good entrepreneurs? Absolutely. I think when you look around, so many of the people that are in prison, um, they have entrepreneurial skill sets, they just use them in a negative way. A lot of us, when we uh, started getting in trouble because we weren't conforming, we thought outside the box, we were just kind of outcast because of it. Prison may be an unlikely place for startups to emerge, but behind bars, the same rules apply. I think anyone that's that's brave enough to go and, and want to be an entrepreneur, you have to be resilient. That's one thing prison does teach you, is how to be resilient, and really to try to win against all odds, even though the deck is stacked against us so much. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, San Quentin.